Guys, I am not content with the state of fatherhood in America as men are second class citizens to parenthood. Men get one day with their child, while women get five to six days with their child. But then we are the ones who are most condemned when it comes to leaving your child. Uh, society feels that leaving your child as a man is worse than a woman leaving her child dead, i.e. abortion, which have killed several million lives, whether you like it or not. And please do not compare sperm to actual human beings because sperm only lasts about three days. That's why there's millions of sperm in like one skeet. So, you know, the likeliness or the odds of uh, baby survival is high. So men are second class citizens when it comes to children. But we are first class citizens when it comes to taking the responsibility of children. And it's so sad when men leave children. As a young man, why would I want to be a parent when it's apparent that my life in a child's doesn't matter? I am just a check stub. And it shows instead of having a society where the courtroom says, Okay, here's how we're going to do it. A man gets three days with a child for the men's side. And a woman gets three days with a child. And on the seventh day, on the seventh day, we will give, we will force both of you to have like equal. We will force both of you to have uh, raise the child together, like something like you all have to co-parent at some particular place, wherever you want to meet, and both of you have to hang out with the child at the same time, so the child would have both parents in their life, so the time is equally split. That would be a fair scenario, or maybe a scenario where, let's say, uh, you get a child for two weeks and then the father gets a child for two weeks. That way you would have equal amount of time. Nope. The courtroom is like fuck men and women get a majority amount of time when it comes to children. But you know what? They also get a majority amount of time and they can kill the fucker. They can kill the fucker when it comes to women. It's their choice in whether a, a child is a legitimate child to them. They have the right to kill it, sell it, give it to the state without no judgment. No judgment at all. And these days, it's very dangerous to even be in a child's life since your your mother could actually like convince you to say that your father raped you and with no consequences. There have been children who admittedly said that their mother have uh, convinced them to say, ooh, daddy touched me here, daddy touched me there. And the woman is not immediately thrown into jail. It's okay, it's okay. Aw, oh, she tries to trick, trick us in the courtroom by having uh, the father being forced into jail because he was... Uh, supposedly accused of child abuse oh let's give her a slap on the wrist who gives a fuck i mean nice try all oh, those dastardly women do, 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 do. but yeah but that all feeds into the idea of me thinking that men are second class citizens to parenthood we are seen as the prime responsibility of a child and women have to carry children for nine months. Nine months. Oh man, that's a sweet ass deal. A woman carries a child for nine months. She gets, um, she gets leave. She gets to get paid for nine months in most countries. She gets to get paid for those nine months and she gets maternity leave for three months 
I mean, it's kind of a burden for employers to hire a woman when if she gets pregnant, she gets maternity leave. You have to find another person to replace her. But that has nothing to do with really parenthood. That has to do with employers. Maybe I'll do a video on the burdens of hiring a female as an employer. But overall, just keep this in mind. Men are second class citizens to parenthood, but we have first class responsibilities when it comes to the child. A woman carries a child for nine months. A man have to carry a child 24 times as long, longer than that, which is about 18 years. If you do the math, 24 times nine is approximately 200 and... 33 week, uh, months, which is about 18 years, give or take, if I did the math right. So this was just a quick video to get this out of my head, get this out of my mind. Finally, detailed, documented, second class citizens of parenthood with first class responsibilities. And women automatically from the jump just get the right to have a majority time with their children. I don't know why, even though women are the most likely to kill their kids, rape their kids, date multiple men who would probably sodomize or rape their kids, and nothing really happens to them. Gosh, just disgusting. ...is facing 180 days in jail for overpaying his child support days in jail for overpaying all right hold on i missed this a houston father is facing six months for overpaying child support by the way well a houston father is facing 180 days in jail for overpaying his child support and over visiting his 11 year old son his attorney and a community activist are now demanding answers randy wallace joins us live with a story you'll see only on fox randy Don, we all expect to see judges throw the book at fathers who fail to pay child support. But a father who says he's been doing the right thing now has an arrest warrant against him. Uh, it's my responsibility to take care of it. You know, I brought him in this world. I have to. Clifford Hall says he's more than happy to pay child support for his 11-year-old son. I'm his father. You know, uh, it's my responsibility to take care of it. But Hall says when the amount of child support was modified... No one told him. And I discovered that for some reason his employer was withholding a large amount some weeks, a small amount some weeks, zero amount uh, some weeks. And I didn't want to go to jail, basically. So Hall quickly paid almost three grand in back child support. When Hall and his ex-wife were in Judge Lisa Millard's court last November, he owed nothing. Opposing counsel testified twice that he's all paid up. But the attorney representing the child's mother wanted Hall to pay her three grand in attorney fees. And Judge Millard agreed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. This guy. This guy's attorney wants her. This guy's getting paid to get raped, by the way, by the attorney. But this guy has to pay for his baby mama's attorney? The bitch could have got like a free free attorney anyway. Documents also reveal Hall wasn't following the court's scheduled times to pick up his son. Another modification he says he knew nothing about. The judge ended up sentencing him to... Just, just, do you know how evil this whole setup, this whole courtroom is against men? Six months in jail. When she said, I sent, you know, remand you to the Harris County Jail for 180 days, my mouth just dropped. This entire situation is shocking to me. I've never seen one like this. Community activist Cornell Lex wants this. Look, it doesn't matter what men do. If you overpay, underpay your child support, you're getting screwed because you are a second class citizen to parenthood. But don't worry, I have a solution to this. Uh, not all is lost. States Judicial Board to investigate. The court failed the child. The court failed Mr. Hall. The system broke down. I can't be there for my son in jail. I can't pay child support in jail. They don't want you to be there for your son. I mean, it's sad, but it's true. You know, this is not, this is not in the best interest of the child. 
Judge Lisa Millard says Hall walked out of court after he was found in contempt, which she says is a big no-no. Judge Millard also points out Hall's attorney could have filed a motion for reconsideration. She says that would have allowed her to hear both sides again and reevaluate re the situation. Hall's attorney is now working on an appeal, and in a few days, Hall plans to turn himself in, and Don will, of course, keep everybody posted on, yeah. on how this plays out. Wow. Wow. And here's a Latino man who was forced to pay $65,000 on a child that's not his. It needs you to prove your innocence beyond your DNA. It's a very cruel and deliberate law. I wouldn't even call it a law, I would call it a trap. One day in uh, 2016, uh, I was approached, well, knocked on my door, and a, a uh, constable uh, issued me some papers stating that I owe child support, and uh, to my surprise, I did. We took a paternity test. I'm not the father, as we all know, but she's still pursuing the matter for personal <laughs> benefits. We weren't emotionally involved like that. We dated probably three times, I saw her three times in 1998, went out on dates. We never had a relationship. I, I don't want to go into a battle with condom companies because uh, <laughs> Put yourself in my shoes and think about your children. Think about what your actions are. And if you truly think you're doing the right thing, then continue. I got three kids to take care of. Sixty-five thousand dollars is a lot of money. To put it in perspective, that'll be two regular family sedans or a very nice Corvette. Uh, <laughs> half of a house. I have an advice for other men around the world. You need to be careful. Men that are being kept underwater, unseen, hidden, oppressed. Because of the system, the way it's designed, it's designed for you to take the biggest financial hit you can. I mean, I have food in the fridge, I have gas in my car, I have air conditioning in my house. There's many men that don't have those opportunities. Now look at this. Now, I showed minority men, but a lot of white males who get stuck with this whole child support thing, they kill themselves. They just kill themselves. The system will screw you and make you kill yourself. Just sad you know what just please leave a like in the description share this video knowledge now in a future video i'm explaining the solution to men a legal solution